Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on Court Farm. So we're in the second episode of the contractor series that I started up. And uh, yeah, we've got the aim of obviously building our own farm. We've got a nice little plot of land and a house and a shed and a few other things, but nothing really to shout home about. There isn't much going on when it comes to what I've got and what I started with. If you didn't check out the first episode, please do. Because um, yeah, we started off with pretty much a harvester, a trailer, um, enough to basically crack on with a few tasks, but we haven't got any bailers or anything like that, so we can't do certain contracting jobs. But my aim is to play on normal difficulty. We can't lease the equipment we need. We can take out loans and things like that, but for certain reasons, like for the farm that we want to build. But yeah, we are pretty much just trying to get work so we can get some money in to buy ourselves equipment to do bigger jobs that eventually allow us to build a farm. So in that first episode, I did two uh, contracts they were both harvesting contracts and they made me well to be honest they didn't make me much money they didn't i made about six grand but i also unfortunately spent two thousand without me knowing because i changed well basically i needed to change the settings in in course play, so it just automatically took two thousand pound off me when i started it to do some field work um it took it off me to repair i think it could have been the harvester to be honest that was it needed the, to repair so it was two grand straight away um, and I only think I start. I think I started off with about fifteen thousand. So, yeah, I'm at eighteen, and I'm still on the same in-game day. I haven't moved forward at all. And the reason for that is at the end of the last episode, I took two contracts out, and that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. I think I'm only going to do one though because I've had a cracking idea. We're in field ninety-two. If we have a look at the map, you can see that we took out basically two contracts after we did the other two. So I'm probably better to go in this menu over here because you can see that I did field 56 and we also did field 112 so them two are done we're, we're now on to the next two so we've got 95 and 92 and we're just sitting outside 92 with a bit of the equipment we need well mainly all the equipment we just need to go and get something and the good thing about it is I wanted to buy a baler that was what I said so I can do some straw bales and sell that as something I can get because we don't need to supply obviously the straw to fulfill the contract so if we go to field 92, so you can tell we're doing it for Adriana um, Hooper and we get 3,800. So, you know, not too good. If we put the details on, you can see that we'll probably get 4,700 if we sell the extra crop that we're going to get. But what we're going to do is we're obviously going to bail off straw. Now, if we get a certain amount of straw and we sell it, that's obviously a bonus. But what I have noticed is in the contracts right now, there's this, which is a supply and transport contract. This guy is going to pay 25 grand if someone delivers him 156,000 litres of straw down to folly down bales before this time expires. And I worked out that if I had 156,000 uh, litres of straw and sold it, I'd only get about, depends, if I sold it at the best time, it'd be like 9,000. If I sell it now, it's about 6,000. So really, for 25 grand, we're making a killing off this and it's just perfect timing. So I'm going to accept this contract, definitely, because it's a no-brainer. We can do this. We can do field 92, see how many bales we get and go and take it to this place because we're going to make 25 grand. And I mean, we could actually make a killing in this episode by hopefully just doing the one field and then we can move on to the next field and sell the store as normal. That's the aim. We could even keep the store until the best time um, and sell it then. Now, there isn't too much difference. There isn't. I mean, it's £60 right now, bale, a straw. That's the best. Like 62 at the farmer's market. But if you have a look at the fluctuations, it does go up to around 88 in January. But we're way off January right now. We're about here. You know, we're right at the bottom of the peak, but at the end of the day, it's not too much of a hit. I'd rather see if we can f fulfill some of these uh, transport, the supply and transport ones, because... Yeah, they, they just make they just make sense. So, we're ready to go. I'm not going to use course play right now. I will do if I need it, but right now I just think if I start him off, it starts draining the money down too quick. So we're going to go and get this baler because we, we can't do anything without a baler. As you can see, I have bought everything up here. I did fuel up the class and the JCB, but I didn't actually go and fuel up the JCB and the harvesters, so that might become a problem. We might need to go and fuel up. But let's go down to the store. Let's go get ourselves a baler because without it, well, we can't make this money. And I'm hoping by the end of it, we, we you know, we've been pretty clever and, and also very lucky. Don't get me wrong. That is quite lucky to see that contract come up. But I think why not make the most of it? We can actually fulfill another contract 
with a product that's not technically ours, but it allows you to do it within the game. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm uh, definitely up for this. I think as well, if we make 30 grand, we can start looking at getting the right equipment to start doing salvaging contracts, because that's what we really want to do. We want to get a baler. Um, might have to get another round baler, because I am intending on getting a square baler, but they, they're not expensive. They really aren't. I mean, the best case scenario would be to get a combi baler that wraps as well. But we're not going to have much money. We need to get a row, um, probably a tether as well if you want to do hay, you know. And then if we did have some bailing contracts after that, we've obviously got the row and the tether. And then when you think about it, we've already got a bailer. Even if it's square, it's not too bad for hay. It's only the silage bales, if we ever need to do that, that we're going to need a wrapper and probably a round bale, a round baler, because I think that's better when it comes to wrapping silage. You can obviously wrap square bales, but kind of just default for me has always been the round bale format for for uh, silage. Also for straw as well. Usually straws defaulted to square. I know you do see some round straw bales, but from where where I am and where I live, a lot of the time straw isn't made. It's bought in by farmers down south that obviously do a lot of the arable work, and then as a byproduct from the arable work, they sell straw bales to farmers and dairy farmers all around the country so where I am which is the Peak District a lot of that straw is bought in and it comes as uh, big big square bales so yeah it's uh, usually hay bales that are made by the farmers on the farm so they get a round baler because they're cheaper usually to buy and then you've obviously got the square balers um, they're kind of for the big arable boys that uh, yeah sell the straw as well so I'm hoping to do the uh, the baling in the class we can use a JCB to obviously haul the uh, trailer for carting, but also we can use it to haul the bales if we need to go and we've got enough. I think that should do, do the job. So let's go and have a look then and we'll get it spawned out here and hopefully we can get something pretty decent. I mean, I have seen a few that are like relatively cheap. They're like 12,000 and they do the job. Don't know what they're like on a pickup. They are a mod, so I hope, hope it's not a poor pickup, but, you know, we'll find out. So we want balers, and we're obviously going to go with the 12,000. We've got three options here. They're all from the same ARM team pack or ARM team pack. I don't know if, you, if it's just ARM or ARM, uh, but we can go up to 240. So I think the bigger the better because it's less handling, less you know work we need to do in the field. So the 690 is nice. I mean, it's pretty much just like that 100. Um, yeah, I think I think there isn't really much difference, is there? Maybe a little bit different when it comes to the tyres. Yeah, definitely different. The tyres in a different colour, but it's the same, really. And then this is what I was thinking. We've got this um, class round bale that we could go up to eventually. It's always an option. I think the cheapest wrap wrapper as well. We did look at this previously. I'm sure of it. I mean, that is the quit bale. It's got to be the quit bale by Mark Thor. Yeah, we can look at that in the future. But now I think we just stick with this. I, I like the 690, I like the colours. But I am going to change this. I'm going to make this a bit customised. I think we should. Let's go with the... I know you don't usually have it like this. It's obviously not meant to be. Unless it's a really old piece of kit. Especially your tractors. But why not? Let's mix it up a bit. We'll go with... Scroft on the back. And... Uh, I think that'll look pretty good. Yeah, there we go. We should get that on a tractor as well. So let's buy this for 12,000. Probably leaves us with, yeah, 6,000 pound. So money has gone down, but I'm hoping, hoping it'll pay off. Now, I didn't actually check the, rep the requirement on that. I probably should have done that. Because we've got here, we've got a 165, so not bad at all. And we've got a 235. So there are two tractors. So I'm sure if we have a look at that baler, yeah, 150, no problem at all. Where is it? There we go. So let's get hooked up. Let's get out in the field. Let's get this harvest started. And we might actually do start doing some baling ourselves and use Courseplay. And then we can also do the carting as well. So we can kind of let Courseplay do the harvesting and we'll do everything else in between just to get the job done. Because it is about bringing that money in. Without it, we are pretty much not going to progress at all on the series he's a heavy baler definitely can feel it on the back of this 
but I think she should be all right. I mean, it's, it might not have the highest horsepower requirement, but it's certainly got a lot of weight to it. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent, though. I'll tell you that. For 12,000, this is a bargain. Okay, so we'll leave that there for a second. We've got pretty much everything in place. Might have to look at the fuel. Um, I'm hoping we don't have to, but you never know. This might become a problem. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to open up the course play menu. I think I've just enabled straw. Doesn't look like we're going to get loads of straw anyway because there is weeds in this. Let's just see the expected. Yeah, look, expected yield is 56%. It's only half. So whoever's tended to this field, it's, they've not done a very good job. But I'm hoping we get enough. If not, we should get definitely enough from the second field. And we'll have to just combine it. We just need to hit 156,000 litres. So can be done, definitely. Uh, but yeah, we want to get up. Let's go into this. I do have a conflict when it comes to that button, just because I'm it's the same button to uh, bring up the course play box as it is to... You can see that there's another conflict there with the mouse for the uh, the rear of the uh, harvester to drop if you want straw basically enabled or not. But I need to change the settings because I think we need to go to course play settings and then... Um, see if I can find it. Yeah, straw swath, that's what we're looking for. So we need to activate that, and then we'll save it. There we go. So that should be good enough. Now, if we just start this off, just to see if it's dropping straw at the moment for us, yes. So that's good. And then what we'll do is we're going to set this course going. It's going to cost a bit of money, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm only going to do two headlands here. I think everything else is fine. Generate that. And off you go. It just means we can be, you know, a little bit more productive with our time. Because obviously we can start doing some bailing now. And he is dropping straw as well, so that's great. So let's get into the baler again and let's get this thing going. We are obviously going to need to use the Carter, or the JCB, and that again has not got much fuel, so we need to be careful. I am just glad that Oxy has not put collisions on these hedges because it is tight, and that is saying... Like, I mean, that's, that's just me being kind, I'll be honest. It's on the limit, really. So let's unfold. So yeah, I want to see if that second bit... Yeah, it does. You know what? That's not bad at all. It looks pretty good. Let's just see how it picks up. So far, so good. Every time we hit a thousand, that's one less we need. We have, we have honestly hit the jackpot with that uh, contract. I mean, potentially we could be, you know, earning well over thirty thousand for doing two fields, and uh, yeah, then we can sell the straw from the second field as well. Depends how much we get from this one. I mean, we're already at 4,000. Um, I don't even know what I set these bale sizes to, to be honest. They're only at 220, so we want to change that to 240, definitely. It means we're handling less, and we, obviously less is better when it comes to handling them, unless we needed them smaller for a reason. I always think, go with the biggest. And the pickup on this is pretty good. It's not got one issue so far. So I've worked out that if we get 20 bales, we should be hitting around what we need. Something around that, at least. 20 bales. Which isn't too bad. Not bad at all. I wonder if we'll have enough time to do the second contract, though. I mean, it might be a good idea to put a bit, bit of a time lapse in, and then we can do a bit of a montage, maybe. Um, or we can do a montage and then do a time-lapse. Who knows? I'll try and figure it out. Might be better to do a time-lapse of me loading up the bales because we haven't got an auto-load trailer. It is going to have to be manual, which I'm fine with. As long as it's not too many, I'm fine with it. And it gets to the like the 80 in the 80s and stuff like that. The numbers are crazy. That's when it becomes a bit of a problem. So far, so good. I mean, I would have loved to get that Heston baler that was on offer 
and even when it was on offer it was still 70,000 but I just love this you know the Heston Bale looks brilliant especially on this map it it just suits it really does suit this map it was a bit like Carmson when 4D modding released the Heston Bale and Carmson hadn't been out too long and it just suited that map down to a T so I think we'll stop there because obviously you know we're hitting that point where we're gonna have to shut that gate ah we're gonna have problems I think we just about made that or, or hopefully he detected it as a collision <laughs> but yeah let's have a quick look to see yeah we're at 60 percent, so we'll just get into the carter now just to bring him through i'm gonna have to open that again i don't know if i'm gonna be able to fit this through that gate i'll be honest i might have to cut into the field for this one unfortunately i mean i can't change it to all wheel steering which will help but still definitely gonna have to do that unfortunately it's a big it's a big piece of kit for the size the offers obviously when it comes to the uh, the fields are a lot bigger than the actual entrances <laughs> anyway let's go and unload this guy and uh, I think he's doing a pretty good demo we're on the second headland as soon as he starts his up and down paths we should have a good chunk of uh, straw on the ground then to start making bales from. There we go. Six miles an hour, that should be about right. So the next field after this that we set up is a contract. I'm sure it's a canola field. Now I have got the mod on that enables me to do straw off canola fields. So uh, we will be making straw definitely off that one. It also allows me to do straw off corn and soybeans, which is really good because you can obviously do that in real life. So I'm not sure why Giants didn't include that into the game. It's always been one that's, uh, yeah... I've not, never really understood. Now, I, I can only think that they did it just so you don't make so much money from them crops because obviously with with the uh, the price increasing on them crops, maybe it's just, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. I definitely know that that tank is empty and we're just taking in what he's harvesting. And I think two headlands is enough for him to turn around. I'm hoping so at the bottom. go shut that gate i will tidy up them sections as much as it doesn't matter really because it's not my field i still will definitely do that um, every little helps as well that extra grain is what we can actually make so it'd be a no-brainer not to do it even if it is just a few pound <laughs> still worth doing all right so he's obviously done his second headland I, was, I don't know what they're doing, they're trying to figure out where to go, I imagine. I hope I'm not going to get in the way, so I'll just stop here a second. And then we'll carry on going around, trying to do some bailing. This baler being so heavy as well. I'm trying to reverse up an hill now. Just what we wanted. Right, so, I think now will be a perfect time. Stick in a bit of a montage of me doing this field. We'll get as much of it as we can in the montage i'll make sure it's the harvesting's done we'll do as much of the baling as well and then we'll move on to you know doing some carting and uh, finally we'll cut in when we've got to do the loading up of the bales hopefully we'll have an off by the end
Right, welcome back. We've had to move on to the second field of canola, and as you can see, course play is doing its thing. That harvester, though, is running on fumes. It really is. So, I've taken all the grain from the first contract. It is pretty much all done. I just need to complete it off, um, this one here. But I'm not going to do that, because if I do, I've got a feeling all them bales are going to disappear, and then we're going to be in with, obviously, some trouble. So, if we have a quick look at the the stock check that we've got we've got 107,000 liters so we're not quite there but I'm hoping that by the time we you know we've done some straw bales in this field we should be in good shape we should be but I'm just going to let it go for a little bit and then we can obviously start doing some baling I am going to use course play for the baler just because I do need to start going and loading up onto the trailer now my only problem is I need a tractor up there to haul the trailer so what I'm thinking of doing is just bringing this in the field. Just placing it here, for example, out the way. And then if we have to, we'll just have to jump into the harvester and, uh, you know, just tell it to kind of crack on. Really should have fueled these motors up, though. I will say that. Uh, but, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it a little bit just so we can go and set up the... Uh, yeah, just so we can go and set up the, the trailers to load these bales on, because we need to just make sure we do that so they're out of the field. Sell them, and I'm hoping then we can, you know... I've just got a feeling if we accept that contract, all that straw is going to disappear. I don't know if it will. I haven't got a clue. I'm just probably being a bit overcautious. But, you know, why not? May as well be safe. I mean, we're doing well, though. We're do we are doing well. We've made a bit of cash. We're up to 6,900. That was just the excess of the wheat that we've just taken. And as soon as we pick up the the contract for it, that's another three 3,000. But it's this straw. This straw is going to be where all this cash comes from. Oh, so let's just make sure we get it on that trailer and get it taken away before, you know, and complete that contract first before we accept any of the other ones. And then we've got to try and get this trailer in. Might have to go through the hedge again. Let's, uh, let's change to all-wheel steering just to make our life a little bit easier on these tight corners. They are tight and small gates. There we go. That should be fine. I mean, all we need to really do is just get this in the field. You know, if we have to... Ooh, caught. If we have to bring the, you know, the, the tractor back, we can do. As long as the trailer's in the field... So we can get busy on loading up. There isn't too many bales. Like I said, 20 bales should do it. It really should. It's just making sure we get that many. The harvest wasn't that good, really. Like I said, 50%. So we could have got double the amount, probably a straw, from that if the, you know, it had got to at least 100%. And with precision farming, the field type's right. It could have got to 125. Depends if it's loam, I guess. But, yeah... Not too bad, really. I mean, it's one of them. I guess most contracts are just set the, the way they, they come out. I don't know if they do have some that are... I don't know if it's random. I don't know if it randomly generates what percentage it's going to be at. But anyway, let's turn that off to save a bit of fuel. What's he on now? Is he on his third headland? He is. So what we could do is if we go to that, um, probably need to go to this and then... Course play, you can tell that the fuel's getting low because I'm getting more beeps now. And we'll save it. First, we need to create a bit of a folder. So we'll just call it contract. Ooh. There we go. Good spell now. And then in that folder, we'll save this course as, I think it's 95. Uh, field 95. Baler. There we go. So now we can actually get the baler on that. And it should be alright. I mean, he's at 95% as well, so we should probably stop this. And then we can, can tell it to continue on from that uh, waypoint. Oh, that fuel is getting low, though. It really is. I'm just hoping it can last out. If, if it doesn't, we've got big problems then, because it's not like we've got anything where we can travel with fuel to the harvester. There we go. Let's just put that in. Let's just see what it says. 
Got 68 litres of fuel left in it. That's not much. That really isn't much. Not for this. But I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. And if we have to, then, you know, we're going to have to buy something, then, aren't we, to travel out to it? Unfortunately. It's just such a distance to go back to the... to the yard where we have the fuel. We are taking a bit of a risk. So, I'm just trying to figure out what course he was. Whereabouts he was on this. If we just go to the last waypoint, it hopefully should work. Yeah, there we go. I mean, he looks like he's on his third headland. He's already done it, but... Hmm, strange one. Let's actually have a look at the, the field that we generate, the course that we've generated, because... It might be the case that, yeah, I think he's that's the direction he's doing his up and downs. So he's actually started on his up and downs there, as you can see. So let's get this baler going from the same course, but from the first waypoint. So what we need to do is go into our courses, load this course, activate that. And then really what should happen is the first waypoint's exact same, and we can carry on making some straw bales, because without... The bales, the bales from this field, we're not going to be able to fulfill that contract. So, first waypoint, off you go, buddy. And let's just make sure he's picking up. Nope, he's not. That's strange. That is strange. There we go. We just had to drop it down. Probably because it's following on from a harvest. It might miss some bits just because, you know, it is following a harvester at the end of the day, but I'm hoping that it does enough and we can just tidy up the rest. It's just to tick us over. Just to tick us over. Right, so. With all that faffing done, let's go and load these bales up. And we'll keep an eye on that fuel. Definitely don't want to run out of fuel. Right, so I'll put this on a bit of a time because it is going to take me some time. I'm probably going to stack them like three high. I think, well, it's a bit of an ask, that is. Maybe two high, just because it's going to take a lot of juice to pull that, even at two high. That wasn't the best stack. But it'll be all right. It'll do the job. Yeah, I'll stick this on a time lapse, and uh, we'll get this whole field loaded up. So we've just jumped in, stopped the worker, and he is on the limit. Honestly, he is pretty much, I'd say, nearly empty. So we're just going to try and clean up a bit, and then at least we got the harvest done. I just don't want to get stuck out in the field with the harvester. But I do want to also tidy up these bits. I mean, there is a few. 
Not too bad there, but there is a few down at the bottom there and around the edge here. I have got the trailer fully loaded with bales, and I wouldn't like to put any more on. As you saw in the, the tire marks, we got um, a, a full, basically, load, but two, two stacked high. So we just need to make sure we finish this off. Um, we're probably going to get in his way. Perfect timing. Come on, buddy. There you go. You got it. And then we're going to go and sell them bales. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the, the fast track. We're going to take the bales now. Because obviously we can't put any more onto the trailer. And then what we'll do is we'll come back. Make sure we've got enough bales to go and sell. To obviously complete that contract. And at that point then. When we've picked up all the bales. We can then finish the two contracts. And it'll be job done should make a good a good amount of money we really should just got to wait and see how much exactly we have used course play as well so we are going to take a bit of hit on that but it's not too much we have tried to cut down as much as possible uh, i know fueling up a harvester is not cheap so i might have to buy some more fuel i did buy a thousand liters of fuel when we started off Obviously, that's probably going to go down by about... I think, honestly, I think a harvest is about 600 litres. About 500. Some, some of them they vary, obviously, but definitely up there. Right, so... Where's the trailer? We best go do that first. Load this in, and then we can switch over to the trailer. We need to figure out where they go as well. I can't remember exactly where it was. Hopefully, it's not too far away. It doesn't matter if it is, it's just I know the fast track also needs some fuel. It's not quite as bad as as the harvester. There we go. So we can unfold it. That's pretty much the whole of the grain that we needed to do, so no more harvesting. So let's get the trailer on. go and what we can do is just part this up out the way ready to haul back I am interested to see now how many litres is left in this so it's got 29 litres that's enough to get back to the farm <laughs> right so we'll let the guy carry on doing the course to uh, obviously do the bales and then we'll go and haul these now we'll have a quick look where we got to go and then we'll take a good dent out of it, that's a fact, especially with the amount of bales we've got. Uh, we could have a quick look just to see if we've hit that target. I know we have a quick look at contracts. So luckily the canola's only got to go to Valley View, which is where we are. That's that's good then. But this needs to go to Folly Down Bales. So Folly Down Bales. Imagine if I drove past it on the way to here. Probably did. If it's this one. Nope, it's not that one. That's good then. So let's have a look up here. No, it's not Pine Creek. Is it? No, it's not the farmer's market. It's going to be all the way over here, isn't it? Oh, it is as well. That is a trek. That is a trek and off. I'd say the best way to do that for us is up this road and then down that one. That's probably the best way to go. Uh, like I said, we need to take 156,000 litres. We've currently got 170. If we have a look at the locations, yeah, they're all in bale format. doesn't tell me if they're on the trailer or not. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to the contract. Just make sure 156 litres. So we have, got, we have got enough. We just need to go there. Now, I don't know if there is an actual petrol station on the map. That would be good, though. Any fuel points like at the store? That'd be good. We can just grab some fuel on the way. Seems like that's the only one. That is a shame. I'm thinking we could should we just go straight up now? We should go that way. It makes more sense. Um let's just have a quick look at this just to see. It's got 67 litres of diesel left. Hmm. It might be a good idea just to drop this off, go fuel up, and then head out. Yeah, let's do it. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll I'll drive back now. I'll fuel up. And then we'll come back, collect the trailer. 
and then we'll head on up. It's better to be safe than sorry. We don't want to get caught out. I'm all right with the harvester because we just about made it, but I've got a feeling this might drink a lot more than, uh, yeah, than we than we can afford, basically. So let's just park this here for a second, head back to the yard, give this some fuel, and then we can crack on with this. It is a shame that it's so far away, but it's going to be worth the money in the end. Right, it's all fueled up and we finally made the first drop, so let's see what happens here. This is definitely the right spot. So there we go. So that's 69% of it transported. All the baling's done and all the harvests are done. We just need to pick up the bales remaining, bring them here, sell them, then we can finish off that final contract. Where all we need to do with that is technically just drop off the uh, the canola, uh, which isn't too difficult because we're right by it. My God, the turning on this when you haven't got the... Uh, there we go. Is is horrendous, let's be honest. It really is. There we go. Finally. <laughs> um, should I go back this way? Let's have a look. It's a bit of a trek. It is a bit of a trek. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. I'll go this way and cut back across up into here. But like I said, this is all done. It just We just need to load the bales on. And we can do that pretty quickly. I'll do it off off camera because obviously there's been a lot of work going on. I think I've been playing for about two hours now. But it'll be worth it in the end. I'm sure of it. So there we go, job done. What a task and half that was. It was worth it in the end. Definitely got, uh, I'm hoping that I get a big payday from this now, but it was a big task. Two and a half hours of gameplay later, and I finally completed both the fields and completed the, the transport um, contract. So we did a load of straw. I even got some extra cash, as you probably saw. So I'm now sitting just under 10,000, and that's before we can... We confirm and complete all three of them contracts. But yeah, two and a half hours of gameplay. Crazy. I even brought the back all the equipment because I really did need to do that. And uh, it's about time we cleaned it off and got it fueled up. I did put a bit more fuel in the harvester. You can just see it's at 392 litres. But because I'm using the realistic fueling mod, it takes a while. It really does. So I thought I'd just... That's enough for now. And uh, we'll put more in just before... We decide what we're doing next. If we do need to do a harvest, then we'll go ahead with that. But if we can, we'll try and do some grass work contracts probably in the next one. I'm hoping that that's all right. I'm hoping we can afford anything we need now. But yeah, tasking off. I think it's about time now we claim our award. But yeah, pretty chuffed with that. We'll just come round to our house because... By the time I'm done with this, I'm going to want to go inside and take a rest. Definitely. But let's get this done. Let's get in the money. And uh, yeah, we'll do it in the right order. So I'm hoping to finish this one first. So we should get 25. So we'll collect that. There we go. Then we can do either or of these, really. Collect that. Collect that. Job done. We're now sitting at 41,900. So that's a big jump. Big jump from the last from when we started this episode well worth it in the end definitely so obviously we're going to carry on but we're going to try and do something that gives us a bit more money and as you can see bailing contracts are much higher i mean we could go with field I'd say field 32 is not bad for 13,000 but uh yeah it looks like we're going to need to do some tedding with that and make some hay let's have a look at the size of field 32 first just before we commit to something it might be massive might be a big field. I'm hoping it's not too bad. Ah, 32. Do you know what? That's doable. 
to do just silage bales and that isn't bad. It depends where it wants us to take the bales, I guess. Let's have a quick look at that. So it wants all the garden centre. That is a fair trek, but luckily, I think, if we do feel 32, we might be able to get to this main road and travel all the way up to the garden centre, which is just over there. We could actually go up this road. Can we get from there, though? That's the question. That is the question. Is it only access from here? Surely we can get access over there. You'd hope so. But uh, for 15,000, that's not bad. That's not a bad option for the next episode. Got to keep raking that money in, but we definitely also need to buy a rake as well. So to even complete that job, we're going to need a tedder and... Yeah, a tedder in a row, I'd say, and we can do hay. Don't think we'd need anything else. We don't want to get something too small. Got to make it worth, you know, something we can invest in to use. I mean, that's 19,500, 8.4. That's not bad at all. Let's have a look at tedders because we don't want something too small, do we? That's 8.7, 16,000, 5.8. We want to go with the width size, really, because that's what makes our life easier. If we can get it down in cost, then obviously that's a bonus. Is there anything on offer? Doesn't look like we've got a tedder, does it, or a windrow on offer? Ah, well. We'll definitely skip a day anyway for the next episode. We'll definitely go ahead into August day two. Um, actually, it might skip to September because by the time I set it to three days, it had already been in the one month, one day month. So we might actually be in September by then. So we'll have to see if that contract still is there. But you never know. At the same time, we might get a refresh on the uh, the items that are discounted. So the, the second-hand market, you could say. You never know. We might be able to find ourselves a cheap tether and a, even a cheap windrow. Fingers crossed anyway. But on that note, I am going to leave the video there. Definitely a productive one. It was fun to do. I do like this idea of doing contracts because we're getting to see the map in all its glory and obviously traveling around. And to this episode, we definitely did a lot of traveling. But it was worth it. £42,000, not a bad way to end on. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.